What's going on? What's going on? Possible um, fight cancellation coming here. Um, Chavez Jr., Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., son of a legendary Mexican fighter, considered to be one of the greatest fighters of all time and the greatest um, Mexican fighter of all time. His son has, um, you know, I guess failed the medical examination by the commission for his upcoming bout, bout with Alfredo Angulo. It was a super middleweight about 168 pounds. We back, good fella Sports TV. Dropping more gems on you, breaking more news, or talking about more breaking news. Um, apparently, uh, Chavez Jr. Uh, and I'll link the boxing article in the description. Um, you know, didn't pass. You know, you know his. You know, physical. You know, for uh, for the upcoming fight with the commission. Um, I guess that would be the LA. You know, the California staff led led the commission, and. Um, you know, he wasn't set to be on the televised pay-per-view portion. What I understood was his fight was going to stream before the uh, uh, Adonis Stevenson, Alexander Goofick um, fight. I call him Goofy. I can't pronounce his last name, but um, apparently he won't nothing, won nothing, won nothing be streaming, you know, no more. <laughs> won't nothing be streaming, dude. So uh, he messed it up. You know, they cited that in a recent interview that he talked about he went to rehab for a substance abuse problem and that could be what it is because he was looking jacked he looking in shape you know uh when i seen him looking swole um i don't know if he weighed too much and it was too much uh weight to drop to remain healthy for the fight um they citing that it could be a alleged um substance abuse problem where he didn't pass um could have been a number of things you know they made it seem like he missed it but um, like he went and did the examination and didn't pass, so uh, that fight will be canceled. And will nobody, won't nobody miss that fight at all. <laughs> won't nobody miss that fight. You know, I wasn't looking forward to watching it. I think they're just streaming the Stevenson and Alexander Goofy fight, and then KIM keep it moving. Um, you know, hopefully he figured it out. Just he seems not to take things serious. Seems like a kid with a silver spoon, shit, a gold spoon in his mouth, um, entitled um, to everything. And, you know, all the Chavez senior sons are not that good. Garbage, hot garbage, cold garbage, whatever you want to call them. And, um, you know, it's another disappointment. Um, imagine if Eddie Hearn would have did a date for Chavez Jr. Because Eddie Hearn also wanted Chavez Jr. services for like a November 17th in Texas to take on Sergio Martinez in a rematch that should have that happened a thousand years ago. Martinez is still training for a comeback. And Chavez Jr. is uh, still trying to over overcome setbacks. So it's unfortunate for Chavez, man. Hopefully, you know, he can get through this, man. But, um, yeah, it's troubling, man. Hopefully get all the help. But when you spoil Brad and you think you're entitled, he never took – he never took, when he when he made it to the, to the like, TV level of America, the championship contender level, um, you know, he just wasn't dedicated no more. There was no hunger there. And that's what they say. Boxing is a poor man's sport because you really got to be in a, you really have to be in a position to need the sport, you know, and when you need the sport, you know, then you probably can fall in love with the sport. But if you really don't need the sport and you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth, nine times out of 10, most um, successful boxer son that, that reach million dollar paydays, seven figure paydays, eight figure paydays, they tend not to, they tend not to work out as professional fighters, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have to, you know, it's, their back's not to get into the wall, they, has, they have other options. And, you know, they asked Chris Eubanks Jr., how do you stay hungry um, and dedicated to the craft of boxing, you know, knowing that you could have went a thousand different routes? You know, uh, he answered that question. I've answered it. But, yeah, this dude just never needed the sport of boxing to survive. He was born with a gold spoon in his mouth. He should have went another route. Spoiled rock star kid um, that Mexico had a lot of hopes for. Have you seen him in the beginning? Chavez Jr. Uh, looked like a really good boxer when he was, like, at the welterweight division, smaller Look dedicated, look focused, and like I said, you get a taste of that fame, and people pump your head up and say you just like your dad. You're gonna be, you know, the next great Mexican fighter, and they, you know, you know, people like that tend to think it's gonna come easy, and ain't nothing easy in the sport of boxing. But um, you know, it is what it is. You know, uh, I don't think anybody was looking forward to this fight. I know Eddie Hearn is is wiping the sweat off his head, saying that he dodged one here. Cause it could have took a date off the zone, and that could have been one of the you know biggest breaking points for the zone, you know. Again, with another meaningless fight on the zone that got canceled and wasted a whole bunch of money. So at the end of the day, um, I know Eddie Hearn is really like the big winner here. You know what I'm saying? You know Eddie is the big winner here. <laughs>
<laughs> you feel me? He dodged the bullet. Um, Al didn't really take a big hit. This, this fight was just to draw Mexicans to the L.A. Staples Center. Um, in addition with Deontay Wilder and Hurd and Fury and, you know, uh, Joe Joyce. You know, now um, the big Mexican bout to draw the Mexicans to the L.A. Staples Center, um, you know, is off. You know, so if I hear anything more about this situation, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury prediction video. Um, we're going to continue to keep it moving all day, man. Um, don't forget, we on Facebook. We on Twitter. Also, you can email me as well. Um, definitely appreciate everybody that uh, that continues to hold us down. Uh, we're going to continue to you know do what we got to do. And um, you know make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Share the videos. Also, we'll make a donation to the channel. That link is there as well. I'm trying to chop this video up. We're watching the football in red NFL red zone. So excuse me if I wasn't at my 100% focus. But y'all know what the business is. We gone.